Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. Candy number three, Grandma's Divinity. I have three cups of sugar that I'm going to mix uh, some white corn syrup and some vanilla in with and I'm going to bring it to a bowl 255 degree is what I want to get the like the hard bowl stage but before that I am going to take two egg whites and uh, put in my mixer in my stand mixer here because we're going to whip these egg whites up but I'm going to let it stand for 30 minutes let me get this done here. Just separate the egg whites. That's all we want in there is the egg white, no yellow. Can't have the yellow. There's one. And let's hope this one goes as well. Number two. There's other ways of doing this. This is just this is just how I've always done it. Yeah. My hands rinsed off over here. Y'all know what? I don't even. What is wrong with me? I do not even have my water going over here. Got my, got my candy thermometer. You got that. Now, yeah. this. Uh, when you first pour all your stuff in here, like your corn syrup and your uh, vanilla, um, you have to stir it constantly. But once it starts boiling, and you just want it on medium bowl, once it starts boiling, then uh, you're not going to stir it anymore. You're going to put your candy thermometer in there and just let her go. That, excuse me. And then here's the vanilla. That's my good vanilla I told you all about that I got from Mexico. Get this turned on. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go medium with it and just stir it, stir it, stir it. Get it to come up to a bowl. That was a fourth cup of a, or not fourth cup, half cup, sorry. That was a half cup of, of the uh, corn syrup. And um, a teaspoon of vanilla. And then like I said, the three cups of the granulated sugar. I'm going to turn that back down just a little bit because I don't want it to, I don't want it to scorch. Oh, but no, do not. Okay. What you do is uh, once this gets to its, uh, the 252, I'm sorry, I said 225, but it's 252, uh, the hardball stage. The hardball stage on your, on here, see, hardball, on your candy thermometer. Uh, but what you're going to do is, then you're going to uh, 
you want to slowly pour that uh, into your egg whites. Now the egg white, you're going to actually uh, get them going until stiff peaks. You get stiff peaks. Now, now I'm going to add two thirds cup of water to this, and then we'll be ready to go. We'll be all ready to go. Bye. <laughs> I have trouble seeing my I'm having a little trouble here. Hold on. Let me take that off of there. Let me get this over here so I can see. There we go. <laughs> oh, you get older. You're supposed to wear glasses. Why don't you just wear glasses, huh? Why don't you just put your glasses on? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just that whole thing of thinking I'll be just fine without them. <laughs> but guess what, folks? <laughs> I don't know about all that. Alright, yeah. All right. now I'm going to, I'm just going to pause this until it gets to rolling with its bowl. Then I'll put my thermometer in, show y'all how to do that. Yeah, you know, when you use a candy thermometer, you don't want it to touch the bottom of your pan. So, make sure that don't happen. But like I said, this is, I'm going to stir this until it gets to that good boil. And then I'm not going to stir it at all. I'm going to let it just uh, boil and do its thing here until it gets up to temperature. Now you can put, uh, if you want to chop some walnuts or something like that, you can put that in it if you want to. Um, I just choose not to. Because that way, I... And have some of it. Oh yeah. I hear a little dog over there scratching on the door. Be right back. Ah! He's silly. He's so silly, y'all. He just is. He can't help it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this on pause. And then I'll be right back. Okay. I know it's a little bit noisy. But I went ahead and put my candy thermometer on. Still stirring, but I went ahead and put stuck my candy thermometer on the side there, and I am going ahead and whipping my egg whites. I want to get them nice and fluffy and get some white peaks, stiff peaks in them. And just in case, I do have a little bit of a cream of tartar in case they want to be sassy and not work. But that's what's happening right now. So I'll sit you back over here. I don't know how I am with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm learning though. I'm getting a lot better at it, ain't I? All right, let me put you on pause here. Okay, I know it's loud, but uh, we're boiling up to the hard ball stage. Sorry. <laughs> and I've got this going to town, trying to get those egg whites whipped up. So. That's what's happening right now. And the thing about it is I am going to actually go ahead and move this over. Well, let's see. I'm going to turn it around so that when I start pouring the hot syrup in, which is about what this is going to amount to, that you all are going to be able to see that. So right now I'm going to put you back on hold because we're noisy. Okay, we got this at the Stiff Peaks. You can see that right there. And I'm almost at uh, 252 on the candy thermometer. And <laughs> my Thomas is home. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, honey. Back to what we were doing, folks. <laughs> and, and hoping that this is going to turn out right. The main thing would be that this doesn't fall into 
the dish. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you back on hold, and then in a minute you're gonna you're gonna see me start pouring slowly, slowly pouring this into those egg whites with hopes that I do not cook the egg whites. Fingers crossed. I just wanted to show y'all I've got a couple different kinds of sprinkles. Probably gonna use this one though. You don't have to. I just wanted to, but yeah. And then I've got my pan ready with parchment paper. Uh, what we'll do is uh, when when I go to pour this in, it has to mix for about five to six minutes. And then what I do is I take two spoons, scoop it in there, work it like that off and onto the pan. You'll see though. We're at uh, 250 on the candy thermometer. I don't want to fog it up, but y'all see that? Oops, I have got you turned sideways. Whoopsie. All right, there we go. <laughs> like I said, y'all know I've come a long way <laughs> with this for sure. All right, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, here we go. It's at that hard boil stage. I'm going to give it just a second or two more to get right up past that line. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. We'll put y'all some kind of pretty music in there to listen to. So you ain't having to hear all that mess. You have to try to get a little string going. Just don't dump it. Just a tiny little string. And like I said, we're gonna we're gonna let this work for about five or six minutes and it's gonna give your mixer a workout so or your arm my grandma god love her soul she did this by hand I don't even want to think about having to do it by hand honestly see how it's already starting to fluff You'll know when the egg whites are ready, not only by it taking you about five or six minutes, but they get real shiny. And you gotta work fast, cause it'll set up on you in your pan. And then you won't have all that yummy goodness to serve on Christmas. But just, just slow, slow, slow. You do not want this to go fast. You gotta get them egg whites tempered. And you gotta pour it all in there. Don't skimp on it. Don't skimp on it and you're not gonna have any. The candy ain't gonna turn out right. Like I said, Grandma always called it sea foam. I don't know why. Hop over here so you can take a look. Now I'm going to turn this back off because, like I said, you know, we don't want this running. Y'all don't want to see this going for five minutes, do you? <laughs> but then next time you see me, I'll have a couple of spoons in my hand, rolling that candy around, putting it on my prepared pan. So, y'all run and get you a snack. Well, I would tell you that, but to you, uh, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> See you soon. All right, here we go. Now, this is hot, remember? It's, it's uh, very hot. <laughs> Get that out of there. Yeah, I gotta work really, really fast with it. Ugh. 
I hope y'all see what I'm doing here. <laughs> see that? And then I'm going to roll that like that. Um, Tom, would you bring my camera on around here, honey? Yeah. So they can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. There's a towel over there. You can, you can pause it if you want to. Oh, okay. Look at that. Wow. Yep, yeah, that's pretty. That's some pretty divinity. Tom asked me how in the world did my grandmother get all this stuff mixed in there and doing this on her own. Now, a lot of times when we got there, she was making this candy. <laughs> so, you know, was it coincidence? I don't know. My mama had five girls. So, who is to say? I'd say Papa helped her out a lot too, though. And, you know, I have several cousins. So, you never know. It's so nice and fluffy. Now, we just want to make sure it sets up. That's the big thing. Hope it sets up. We'll have to have another pan. I know that. Because this has got a lot in it. We're going to put y'all on pause just a minute and be right back. All right. It's starting to set up on me, y'all. I knew to have two pans ready. I don't know what I was thinking. I just do not know. I can tell you one thing, Tom, and I snagged a bite of one. Tastes wonderful. Yeah, that's some good stuff, y'all. Have you ever had divinity? No. Oh, see, I didn't know that or I'd have got him. I'd have got him on this vlog, taking his first bite of divinity. See how it's starting to crumble a little bit? That's how you know you're uh, working too slow. <laughs> That's Brinkley, he hears the bus, I think. Kid school bus. When I get finished here, I'd say he'll probably want to wait till after supper. We get Tom to give the the other two candies that I've got made. See if he wants to give them a taste. Oh goodness, it's 